the 3080 Ti, and the 3070 Ti are coming really soon. Let's talk about it. Before that, this video is brought to you by Drumeo. Drumeo is an online course that'll help you learn how to play the drums and reach your goals with organized lessons, practice tools, and live events. With personal feedback from drum legends, 1,000 plus play along songs, and 230 plus courses available, Drumeo is a great way for people of all skill levels to start learning or honing their skills. So if you're interested in learning how to play the drums or just bring yourself to the next level, be sure to click the link in the description below to find out more. So over on videocards.com, there was just an article that was published that goes over not only the specs, but also the release date for both the RTX 3080 Ti as well as the RTX 3070 Ti. Now first I'm going to go ahead and talk about the 3080 Ti really quickly as most of this information is just basically reconfirming everything that we already knew about the 3080 Ti. However, they did have a little bit more information to add, but you know, what I really want to talk about in this video is the RTX 3070 Ti because I know a lot of you out there are very excited to hear about the RTX 3070 Ti and you're probably wondering what those specs are going to be and you're probably also hoping that it's going to have a lot more VRAM as the RTX RTX 3070 with 8 gigabytes of VRAM is just a little bit disappointing. So in any case, we'll talk about that in a second, but first let's start with the RTX 3080 Ti. So according to videocards.com, who I do hold to be a very reputable source, the RTX 3080 Ti will be based off of the GA102-225 GPU. It's going to have 80 GPU clusters. It's going to have 10,240 CUDA cores, which is about 2% less than the 3090. It's going to have 80 RT cores, 320 Tensor cores, 112 ROPs, 12 gigabytes of G. DDR6X memory running at 19 gigabits per second uh, for a total of 912 gigabytes per second. Looks like they actually got the math uh, wrong there at the bottom once again. And they get that bandwidth by using a 384-bit bus, and that's also the reason as to why it has 12 gigabytes of VRAM, because with a 384-bit bus with 8 or 16 gigabit modules, you have the choice of 12 gigabytes or 24 gigabytes, and of course they're going to want to uh, differentiate the 3080 Ti from the 3090 somehow. So yeah, if you're going to get basically all the performance of the 3090, they're going to have to very least cut the VRAM in half, uh, but hey, don't worry, the 12 gigabytes of VRAM should definitely be enough for 4K gaming, at least for the near future, and by the time that it's not quite enough, you're probably going to want to be dropping settings anyway, and at least in my opinion. Now, as for the price, they don't actually list it here, however, I'm very confident that you're going to be seeing an MSRP of around 1000 US dollars, and, you know, if you're looking for an AIB model, they're probably going to be, you know, starting somewhere around 1200 US dollars, and I wouldn't be surprised to see uh, some of those higher-end AIB models working their way up to 1500 US dollars. And then, you know, if you want, say, a kingpin model, that actually might be even a little bit more. But we'll just have to wait and see for sure what happens on the whole price scenario here. Uh, of course, MSRPs don't really mean a whole lot right now unless you can actually get a Founders Edition, which I do believe there is going to be a Founders Edition of this card. But again, I don't really know for sure. Now, as for the release date, it looks like according to videocards.com, it is going to be announced sometime around mid-April. And then this was also reconfirmed by Red Gaming Tech recently. And he also said that uh, he thinks that not only is it going to be announced mid-April, but it should be available by the end of April, and that actually does make a whole lot of sense to me. So uh, let's say that they announce it sometime between, say, you know, April 14th to April 18th, and I would expect you uh, to actually be able to at least try and purchase it by, say, around maybe April 26th to around April 28th, though I don't really know for sure. That's just me uh, kind of guessing. But, you know, as for the availability, what I'm expecting out of this card, if you're trying to get one, is that, you know, I do expect it to be a little bit more available than the RTX 3080, uh, not only because it's going to be launch day and there's just going to be uh, a decent amount of them that have likely been saved up, especially considering that this GP launch has been pushed back, I think, like, uh, two or three times now at this point, but on top of that, uh, the RTX 3090 GPU, which is uh, also the same GPU that you see inside of the RTX 3080, however, it's just cut down, uh, does seem to be yielding very well, so I would expect there to be maybe more RTX 3080 Ti's that they can yield versus the RTX 3080. So, yeah, you probably will have a little bit better of a shot of getting the 3080 Ti, but, of course, that really does depend on a whole bunch of different factors as well, so, you know, they could be pumping out like four times as many of these and it could still be really really difficult to get depending on what happens within the next month. But now let's go ahead and talk about that RTX 3070 Ti, the GPU that a lot of you have been waiting for. Now originally this GPU was uh, supposedly going to have like 16 gigabytes of VRAM, then there was a more recent link that suggested it was going to be based off of the GA102 die or the GA103 die and would have 10 gigabytes of VRAM and now it looks like things have actually changed. However, we do have a lot more information on the RTX 3070 Ti and it does look like this is actually happening but 
but according to videocards.com, this one's going to have 48 GPU clusters, 6,144 CUDA cores, which I believe is about 4%-ish uh, more than the RTX 3070. So in terms of performance, yeah, this card probably isn't going to be too much faster. Um, it's going to have apparently 48 RT cores, 192 Tensor cores, uh, 96 ROPs. And here's where things get really weird. Apparently, it's only going to have 8 gigabytes of VRAM. However, it's going to be uh, GDDR6X versus GDDR6. Uh, so it's going to have faster VRAM, and it's going to have a little bit more CUDA cores, it looks like, but no more VRAM. So I definitely find that to be very disappointing, and it's going to be on the same 256-bit bus uh, to get that 8 gigabytes of VRAM. I'm hoping that there is a 16 gigabyte version of this card, but it looks like right now all we're looking at is an 8 gigabyte version, which I think is going to disappoint a lot of people, and it really depends on what this card comes in at. So, you know, if the price comes in at, say, uh, the same $500 MSRP and you can actually buy one at the time that it releases, uh, then I actually wouldn't be, you know, too mad about this. I'd be like, you know what, hey, you're getting a little bit of extra performance, you're getting higher bandwidth, and it's coming in at the same price. However, if it comes in at, say, uh, $550 uh, MSRP or $600 for the MSRP, well, then this card's definitely not going to be worth it because you're getting the same amount of VRAM and, you know, maybe 5% more performance if you're lucky. Um, you know, maybe if the memory bandwidth is really holding them back, if they have really good memory bandwidth on this card, you could you just maybe see like 10% more performance, though I don't really think that's going to be the case. It's probably going to be, you know, more like 5%, which is very, very disappointing. But, you know, in terms of the release date, it looks like they're going to be announcing this about end of May. Uh, they don't actually necessarily say if it's going to be an announcement or a release date. Uh, I think that they mean an announcement. So yeah, if it's end of May, then you can expect that probably another, you know, two to four weeks after that, then you'll actually be able to purchase this card. But again, uh, with eight gigabytes of VRAM, I actually find this to be very disappointing. I'm kind of not looking forward to the 3070 Ti as much as I originally was, you know, because if the 3070 Ti had 10 gigabytes of VRAM, that would definitely make it a lot more attractive as it would definitely age a lot better. Eight gigabytes is enough right now, especially if you're playing uh, 1440p. But, you know, as the years go on, it's definitely not going to be enough. And if you're someone who wants to hold on to your video card, yeah, this might not be the card for you. You might want to be starting to look at, say, an RTX 3080 or maybe even a 6700 XT or a 6800 as those cards definitely have a lot more VRAM and are definitely going to be holding up better, at least in terms of the rasterization performance. But hey, either way, it looks like we do have pretty much confirmed release dates and specs for the RTX 3080 Ti and 3070 Ti. Now, whether or not you're going to be able to purchase these cards, I don't really know for sure. I think you're going to have a better time with the 3080 Ti as for the 3070 Ti. Um, I'm not entirely sure. I wouldn't be too surprised if it's actually even harder to get that GPU, but again, it really depends on a whole bunch of different factors of what really happens over the next couple of months here. But yeah, uh, either way, you're going to have a couple more chances of new GPU launches so that if you get up early in the morning and you sign up for like an EVGA queue or you're hitting that F5 button, you might actually be able to buy something. And hopefully fairly soon here, things just get a little bit better so you don't have to do that. But yeah, we don't really know what's going to happen. Um, but either way, I'm excited to see these two video cards in action. I'm definitely going to be looking forward to the 3080 Ti. I'm uh, personally going to be trying to get my hands on a 3080 Ti Strix or a uh, 3080 Ti for the Win 3 water-cooled version if I can. I do definitely really like those models for the 3080 and 3090, but who knows if I'll actually be able to get one. But hey, that's just what I think. Are you going to be trying to get a 3080 Ti or 3070 Ti? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below, and of course, I'll see you in the next video. If you made it to the end of the video, be sure to drop a like. Every time you do so, AMD and NVIDIA get more stock. Also, if you want to see more, click here. You won't be disappointed.